Hey lovies, welcome back to another delicious recipe. And on today's recipe, I am going to be sharing with you my simple, no oven baked Nigerian fish rolls. So guys, do stay tuned as I take you through all the list and measurements of the ingredients that we are going to be using for this recipe. And also, do check out the description box so you can access it anytime you want to make yours. And I also do have the oven version for this recipe, which is just a very little similar difference. Okay, so let's get started with this recipe. So guys, right now we'll start by making the filling for our fish rolls, which I'm going to be adding in some salt into my already washed mackerel fish. I'll add in some fish seasoning, onion powder, which you can also use some fresh onion and also I'm going to be adding garlic powder and half nor cube so right now I'll go ahead and add in enough water and allow the fish to cook completely so right here, I have some scotch bonnet peppers, three scotch bonnet pepper, and a very tiny bit of red bell pepper, which I'm going to be chopping into a very tiny bit. So guys, don't feel free to adjust your scotch bonnet pepper to how you like your food to be spicy. So I'll go ahead right now and also chop the spring onion, which is going to give this fish straws a very nice taste i'm also going to be chopping the green parts of the spring onion and i'll set this aside and start working on my already cooked fish so right here, I'm going to debone the fish completely. I will make sure I concentrate and take off all the bones from this fish. And when, when I'm done taking off the bone, I'm going to be using my hand to mash this into a very nice mashed fish. So guys, this is how you want it to be. And right now, I will get my pan into the fire and I'm going to be using just about two tablespoons of vegetable oil to stir fry my onion. So guys, for this process, you don't need a lot of oil because you don't want the oil to be coming out from your fish rolls while you're trying to wrap the dough. So after stir frying the onion for about two minutes, I will go ahead and add in my veggies. After adding in my veggies, I will allow it to stir fry for about three minutes and I will go ahead and add in some thyme. After adding in my dried thyme, I will go ahead now and add in some spices, which you are free to add in any spice of your choice. I will add in some hot paprika powder. Curry powder. And I will also go ahead and add in the already crushed fish. And right now, I will go ahead and stir this so it will mix up with the veggies completely. And at this point, my fire is on a low heat as I want the fish to mix properly with the already stir fried veggies. So at this moment, I tasted the fish and I noticed there was not enough seasoning because I'm not using the fish water that I use in parboiling the fish. So I went ahead and added in a little bit of no cube and salt and I'm going to stir this up together and allow it to stir fry for 3 more minutes and set it aside to cool. 
So into my dry bowl, I'm going to be adding 4 cups of plain flour which I'm going to use to make my dough. And this is what my cup looks like. So right here I have some milk, 250 grams butter, 2 tablespoons sugar and 1 teaspoon baking powder, 1 teaspoon nutmeg powder, salt and 1 egg. So I will start by adding in my teaspoon of baking powder into my 4 cups of flour. I will add in the sugar, nutmeg and salt and I will mix this up thoroughly. So when I'm done mixing this, I'll create a hole and put in my butter. And I'm going to be using my clean dry hands to mash this to mix it up together. So you want to make sure that you mash this up together completely. And then when I'm done with that process, I will go ahead and add in my one whisk egg. And I will also mix this up together with the flour. So when I'm done with this process, I will go ahead and start adding in my milk bit by bit. If you don't like using milk to mix your dough, you can go ahead and use water for this process. So guys, right here, we want to mix this dough into a very soft dough, not into a runny dough. So you go ahead and add in your milk bit by bit until you get the consistency that you are going to see me making today. So guys, you can see how my dough look like. That is how you want it to be. So at this moment, I'll sprinkle in a little bit of flour and go ahead and start mixing this dough. Right now, I'll add in a little bit of flour on my work surface and I'm going to kneel this dough for about two minutes. You can see how soft my dough look like. That is how you want it to be. So you can roll it out to get a nice and crusty fish straws. Okay. So after working on the dough for about two minutes, I'll put it in my bowl and cover it up with a clean film. Put it in my fridge and allow it to rest for about 20 minutes. So guys, after allowing the dough to rest, I will get it out and I'm going to be dividing the dough into three parts. And I will save the other part and start working with one dough. So right here, you want to make sure you sprinkle in some flour on your work surface and go ahead and start using your rolling pin to roll this dough out. So guys, this is how my dough look like, very thin. I'll go ahead and use my knife to cut the dough to get the one that I'm going to be using to make my fish straws. And right now, I'll go ahead and start putting on the already stir fried fish on the dough. So guys, you can see what I'm doing right here. I will lift up the edge of the dough and start to use it to seal it up to cover up with the fish. And when I'm done with this process, I'll go ahead and roll the dough out. And I'll roll it on my work surface to seal it up completely. So when I'm done sealing it up, I will use my knife or my pixel cutter to cut out the size of the dough that I want. So right here, I'm using my butter to wrap, to spread on the tray that I'm going to be using to bake my fish straws. After rubbing it with some butter, I will start lining up the already cut dough. 
and at this point i will go ahead and use my whisk egg to give it a nice brush to make this dough come out looking nice and beautiful okay so guys while we're doing this i'm already preheating my pot in the fire for about five minutes which i have in some salt and my stove rack inside my pot So right now I will transfer the dough, the fish straws into the fire and I will cover it up and allow it to bake on a very low heat for about 35 minutes. And after 35 minutes, my fish straws is ready, looking deliciously well baked. So guys, thank you so much for watching this recipe. I hope you give it a try. And if it's your first time here, you are so, so welcome to Lydia Isaac TV. Please, before you leave, don't forget to hit on that red subscribe button. Click on the bell icon that goes with it. That way you will never miss any of my uploads, okay? And also, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as this is going to be very helpful with this video. And don't forget to ask me any question on the comment section regarding this recipe as I will gladly reply to your question, okay? So guys, you can see how nice and delicious this fish rolls came out. So you don't forget to give me a big thumbs up on this recipe, okay? Till I see you. So guys, till I see you again on my next recipe. Do have a lovely day. Do have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.